My father arrived in Australia in 1936 to join a brother and his family. And uh, my mother and five of us came out from Poland in 1938. I did my schooling down at Bondi Beach. In the summer, we used to go down to Bondi Beach and in front of the steps, all the Jewish young people would meet there. We used to refer to it as Little Jerusalem. The reason I joined National Council of Jewish Women was because we not only worked for Israel, the Jewish community in Sydney, but also the non-Jewish community. And uh, to me, that was a way of giving back. And then one day, they were talking about it in my kitchen, and at that time I was president of National Council of Jewish Women. And I said to Maya, don't expect me to join an old people's uh, organisation. He said to me, just stop what you're doing, come here. And he said to me, you know, when a baby is born, it begins to age. And that's, we are not an old people's organisation, we're an ageing organisation. So I said, I had never thought of that. So I said, okay, I'll join, I'll do what I can. A meeting was called and COA was formed in February 1982. It was open for people to drop in just to have a cup of tea and a biscuit. We didn't provide lunches for them at the time. And so we, uh, we progressed. As we went into people's homes, we realised how lonely people were, especially the Holocaust survivors. They would sit home all day and every, every day of the week. A lot had no family. And so we decided we needed somewhere where we could bring them in and we say, of course, come on in. And that's how it grew. Quite a number of members said, I'll do the deliveries on such and such a day. And uh, we realised we needed to, to provide for people, not just for one day, but for a whole week, and especially for Shabbat, where people were getting older and couldn't cope, couldn't go shopping. It's been a wonderful service and we've been going now for since 82, 34 years, which is, I only wish that they can see above what has become of COA. And I hope that the younger generation will keep the Jewish traditions to make sure that our little organisations like COA are supported. And whatever we can do, I think it's up to every individual who's here to support JCA and to be generous. COA has given me something to live for, to get up in the mornings and to know that I can come in, I can be among friends, I'm getting old, and I need to have a goal, and that's what I have. <laughs>